telecast have been selected by Rasmus and Communications Management and approved by the Big Ten Conference. That's the story here at Assembly Hall in Champaign, Illinois. The Iowa Hawkeyes making a spirited comeback. They had trailed by as many as 20 points earlier in the second half. Please, Stephen, I'm not missing my guess. It was, what, about a 22-point lead at one time for Illinois? Or almost a 22-point lead. The great teams never give up. And this Iowa team under Tom Davis will never give up. One of the things you always notice about the great teams, they are always able to outscore their opponents at the free throw line. Coming into this ball game, Iowa has shot almost 150 more free throw attempts but outscored their opponents by over 100 points at the free throw line. With that conversion right there, Iowa has now outscored Illinois 18-6, makes 19-6 at the free throw line. And as a result, they have swept back to within five points of the fighting line. The Hawkeyes on the comeback trail. Blackwell leads, and Steve Bardo reports back on for Illinois. Altenberger triggering on the inbound. Weisinger picked up by Roy Marble. A surprise there? No. They've got to put a 6-7 guy on, on him. That's all they've got in the lineup. Altenberger, Bardo back to Weisinger. A little bit different defensive pressure off the uh, timeout. Man to man, 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 man defense. Now they're in, the, in a man, and it looks like they're going to trap off. Tony Wise tossing away some time here. Just under four minutes left to go. Well, you don't want to foul now. You're making them work hard. Altenberger wide open. He doesn't miss from there very often. comes up with the ball. He gives up his dribble a little early, but Bardo is there. That was a great play by Bardo. He got nudged a little bit and was falling out of bounds. Marble takes it away. Marble on the drive. Oh, oh. <laughs> Illinois is tired now. They're disorganized. They need a timeout. Bardo is fouled by Marble. And there was little doubt on that one. Tempers are flaring here. Again, these are the type of plays that you make when you get tired. You don't pick up your dribble, number one. Then you need an offensive player to come to you. Illinois breaks the full court pressure, you have to make them make 
a pop could move. You don't want to send them to the foul line now if they break the pressure. Offensively, you know, you just keep running your pattern. Dean Pardo at the free throw line for the Fighting Illini. Pardo has made both of his free throw shots here tonight. He has four points in the game. for a freshman. Most versatile of the newcomers plays forward and guard. Average 15.4 points a game, 6.5 rebounds, and 4.5 steals last year, senior year in high school. One out of two at the line, Lowhouse has the rebound for the Hawkeyes. A field goal from two-point range will tie it. This half, Illinois shooting 26%. And Illinois now back into a man-to-man -man defense. And I think that the uh, adrenaline of the moment now has got both teams on their toes. No, everybody looks fresh. I don't think fatigue will be a factor in the last two and a half minutes. Jerry Wright. Jerry Wright connected. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. What an unbelievable move. Jerry Wright ties it up. 219 left to go. Kenny Norman clears Altenberger. Tony Weisinger will set up the offense. Again, now, Iowa doesn't want a foul. You have to make Illinois execute and get a good shot. I wouldn't, I was going to say, I wouldn't be surprised if Norman gets the ball. <laughs> Take that. Ten second half points, 21 in the game for Kenny Norman. Hawkeyes trail by two. Gary Wright. Kevin Gamble, number 35, Lohaus, way out. I'd be surprised if you see a three-point shot by Iowa now. I think they're going to look to take it to the hoop. Mo in traffic down low on the fan. Got it. Sensational execution on both sides down the stretch. Eddie Norman to Altenberger, and he plays it ahead of Weisinger. Oh, look at Mo down on the floor. And now they get the jump ball indication on the alternating possession. Watch Mo. I tell you what, it's, it's effort and plays like that that make the difference. Mo hurt his hand. He's trying to get out of the ball game. Instead of just taking him out, they want an injury timeout. Mo pried it loose, but Weisinger lost the handle on it and just was able to get it back, and it was tied up in Illinois. And the alternating possession gets it back. Tom Davis wants the timeout you're talking about, Steve. He wants, a, he wants, you know, just a little break in the action. He's got an injury. You know, he gets some time to, to, to replace that player. He wants to confer now with the officials. You know, it's, it's plays like that that are contagious. You know, when you get a player diving on the floor, giving it a 100% effort, everybody else does. You know, you have to adjust, you have to adjust to the official's whistle. You know, they've been calling a little more of the contact. And you just have to, you know, you have to, that's just a bad decision right there by Marble. Steve Pardo back to the free throw line. One and one opportunity for Pardo. Final 10 minutes. Watch the play by the snake down low. Well, 
He's got 21 points now with that basket. 14 of 15 games this year. He scored 20 points uh, or better. And that, is a, that was a big, big basket, needless to say. Second half shooting, 40.7% for Illinois, 55.2% for Iowa. Now, what big by Gary Wright, number three in black. With the bad hand, you see the bandage on that broken hand. You know, that was better and better. He really is. He really is. And in injuries are both physical and mental. Campaign Illinois. Full court pressure now by Illinois. Either with the drive to the basket or players coaching up inside. I would expect that's what we'll, they'll be looking for in this situation. Gary Wright looking to work the deal on Hamilton and lost it out of play. Crucial, crucial turnover with 43 seconds remaining in the score tie. Count them now. 15 turnovers for Iowa, Illinois 8 in the ball game. Points off turnovers. on the turnover, so we've seen a, a lot of momentum swings, and it, it's been the game that we hoped for. Hawkeyes have outscored the Illini by 17 points here in the second half. It's a 17-point ball game. And Hamilton has scored 